Good day farmers, welcome again to Obit Farm. Today's topic was something that I needed to be or was asked that I needed to explain was what is it to be a farmer? A farmer in Zimbabwe is a mix of a bag, but the greatest thing about being a farmer is either you're taking soil and you're turning it into food, or you're taking animals and you're t- turning them into food. You're taking day old um, animals and you're turning them into food. These are the definitions of being a farmer. Your definition is to try to produce food that is consumable for other people. And that is not a very easy thing. Sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong. But in everything that you do, you keep on trying. The first thing that you can ever do is to stop trying. And trying means you're always finding ways of overcoming certain obstacles that are put in your way. Be it the weather, be it the market, be it the things that you're doing which have got a very big effect on the final on the final things that you're doing it's a must that you must understand what you're doing being it being a farmer is not very simple the times sometimes when you do things and you winning and then there's sometimes when you do things and you actually lose but all these things does not mean that you stop farming it means that you also need to be able to diversify being a small holder farmer as I am and doing a small holder land plot that I do, I have learned to be very diverse. And the reason why I learned to be diverse was because I learned quickly about doing one thing so big that when you do it so big, the other things start falling apart. I did that once. I used to, first and foremost, when I started here, I had started off with goats. Goats was my main objective. Like anyone else, you start saying, ah, oh, six months to eight months before you kill the goats, before you do something, is a long time to wait for the goats to grow. So what did I do? I then decided that, ah, oh, it is best that I start doing chicken, broiler chickens. The broiler chickens, I did so many of them to a point whereby when I went to the market, the market people were now giving me a hard time. Being a hard time when I got being in that market, it was very difficult because I was not getting back my money as fast as I wanted to. So the um, the chickens and the broilers that I was doing ended up becoming more like a, a stumbling block to my business. Then that is when I just started doing each and everything, just trying out everything. That's when I started also pig farming. I started doing some pigs, as you saw, I started off with one. This is a project that has been here since probably now for the past five five years i've been doing pigs and you've also got your challenges making sure that the feed feed is always available making sure that you always have things available for them that has not been easy that has always been very difficult the cows is something that i actually did and i actually grew the, the herd from from three now we are good we had a good um, good 12 of them but this is something that has been done over time then we also have the, now the chickens that I am now doing these chicken, the chickens that we are now raising these chickens are now for the eggs these eggs are the things that we are looking into now why did I start also the chicken and the eggs people then say ah but you are going to find difficulty finding market market is not difficult that is one thing I should always say to people. People complain and saying, hey, what about the market? The market is not difficult. It is having the product available to go to market. Right now, someone asked me, oh, do, when I was telling them that you have chickens, they're saying, I told them, yes. They asked me, do I, do I have the eggs? When I told them, no, they were saying, the minute you start having eggs, I should be the first person to know because I will take all your eggs every day. So that's why I'm saying that the market is not very difficult it is good to talk and say oh we we'll, i will go and i've got the things i've got i'm not i'm making this and this but once you go to the market the market will be asking you are you ready for us and when you're not ready for them it will become a very very difficult thing to push your chickens so this is why i am really looking at these chickens as a thing that is a new project which is doing well for me because this as much as it is right now consuming a lot of my money 
when I then start selling the, the eggs, I know that my money will start coming back. So we will just keep on monitoring this, keep on looking at it, and keep on looking at how best we are going to be doing. Now, time, there are also some things that I've got to be thinking about. What do I do with the pigs? Do I keep on going ahead with the pig project as, as it is? I have actually come to a position whereby my thought process is like, remove the pigs and then wait for some time until the economy gets better, until things have become much better and then restart it again. Restarting for me is never a problem because I know a lot of pig farmers around to start the project. But right now the most expensive thing for the pigs is the feed. Right now, a bucket of maize is going for $10, which is very, very expensive when you want to do this pig, pig thing. And once you start looking at all the other elements, the soya and all the other ingredients you need, you start finding out that you are really an arm and a leg. Is meat going up in price? No, it's not going up in price. In fact, there is now like a decrease in price. Even when I look at people who are selling cows, the cows are actually going down in price. And this is very dangerous when you start looking at it, whereby you're putting in a lot of money into it. But, as I said, this is just an update of what is going on here. Do I keep the goats? Yes, the goats are going to be kept. I'm actually in the process of thinking of actually growing that side of the business because the goats, you do not have a lot of money input you that you put in the major input is making sure that the person who's herding the goats herds the goats you're making sure that they get enough supplements but the supplements that you're giving them is not is not a lot of money the capital that you need so what am i doing this means that there is another thought process into everything i'm doing i have been thinking about everything that i'm doing on this on this plot or this farm the major thing that I have been now thinking about is that what do I make this plot become? Do I keep it as a mixed mixed bag of things or do I make it specifically one thing? The size, yes, I should be doing one thing. But again, if I do one thing, there is going to be a lot of capital injection. So what I am going to do right now is I am going to keep the chickens, the broilers that I'm doing, plus the goats plus the kettle that I'm doing. Those will become the major projects for this farm. What I'm going to just remove from here is the pigs because I believe that the pigs, I need to rethink about it and redo my, my, I can't say redo, but to think about what I'm going to do once we have got enough, enough cap, I can't say enough capital until the economy gets better. Then I will come back and I'll rethink about the pigs. Therefore, what does this mean? What about vegetables and all that? As you saw, there's the other place that I'm now doing in conjunction with someone else. For maize, right now I'm actually planted maize. We are going to be doing a peppers, we're going to be doing so many other things there. But the thing is that when you're in partnership, there is a limit of things that you as a person can do. The difference is that he owns the land, I don't own the land. I have got things that my brain wants to do, which when you talk to someone else, their vision and your vision are two total, total different things. So what does that mean that I need to do? I need to look for more land. Now need to look for more land. Land is not very, it's very difficult to come by in Zimbabwe. Land for sale is very simple, but it is very expensive. I do not have that kind of capital to, to do that kind of farming. But I've got to be looking at it. You do not need to stop and start thinking, ah, oh, what's next? This is, I've already stopped, thought, done, and I've already gone into the next process. But this is another video for another time. And this is what I say about farming. Farming, you can never go wrong. You need to eat every day. You definitely need to eat every day. You need, you need food every day on your table. Before you wake up, every day you wake up, you need to eat lunch time you need to eat din before you sleep you need to eat so you can never go wrong being a farmer but the way that you then do your farming is very important it's a very way way of goal of you becoming a great farmer or doing things to become great 
thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing to the channel and liking the channel and everyone who keeps commenting thank you very much and have a good day